Well, hello, all you raging, aging beauties. I'm Adventure Jenny, and I'm here to motivate, uplift, and inspire everyone with an emphasis on ladies in or near their prime. In today's episode, I'm going to be removing this wig that we installed in my last episode. You can check that up here, click that link. But before that, I'm going to show you a little bit of what happened. It's been four or five days, so I think it's time to take it off, so we'll get right into it. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna get right into this, but I did keep a record. I took pictures. I did a couple little videos to show you the styles. We went from curly to straight, and then here today I had to straighten a little bit more just to show you and up close. I've got a little two-strand braid going on on both sides today that comes together in the back, and I think it looked pretty good. I did wear it mostly in half up dues. I love this long style. It was a lot of fun, but here we go. Here's some examples of what I did throughout the week. So we'll be right back after that to start with the removal process. I fixed my hair, did a um, touch braid on this side and a smaller one on this side and it looks like everything's holding together pretty good so I'm excited I'm enjoying my hair relaxing and just loving it so I spent a little bit of time this evening straightening it a little bit the hair and um, I'm loving this I think in the morning I will straighten it even more and see what we can do with it for the day tomorrow but this is looking kind of pretty all straight and flowy and thick and full and just beautiful <laughs> So this is day four. I woke up, I've brushed my teeth, but not my hair, just for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is looking a little um, rough, but let's take a up close kind of look at the hairline here and see how we're holding up. It's not looking too, too bad, but I'm gonna brush this up and see if we can style it real pretty for today. looking a little rough this morning let's see what we can accomplish with this let's see how that hairline's holding up today might be the very last day of this okay so this will be our last day I'll be taking the wig off but I wanted to show you also that as the day has gone along a little bit here I did straighten it a couple days ago and I find when it was curly, it didn't seem to require as much maintenance because I kind of wore it messy. And once I straightened it, it does require a lot more care. I have to brush it. It's very simple. You just kind of start at the bottom, pick everything out, and make sure you don't have any tangles. And then work your way up and just keep it looking fresh that way. But you kind of have to carry a comb or a brush with you pretty much wherever you go because this look as beautiful as it is it is going to get um messed up quite a bit and fairly easily but there are some areas that the curl just isn't completely out and laying exactly the way i want so i did get my hsi flat iron and i have it on like a um, medium temperature but i know the hottest is like in the 400s we don't want that this this wig is only good up to like 320 degrees, maybe 350, but I just keep it on medium, which is not extremely hot. And I'm just kind of, as maintenance, just reflattening some of the areas that still have a little bit of curl going in them, like so, so that I can finish out my day with beautiful and flawless uh, straight style. See, look at that. That just kind of took that kink right out. Let's see if we can work the kinks. Now, 
I will say before I take it off that I have the bang, the hairline a little too low on my forehead. I would say because my widow's peak is right here, but my natural hairline comes up a little further on the sides, I am going to pluck this all real good right here because all I did was pluck the very, very front of the hairline. So I'm gonna pluck it a little deeper, leave the widow's peak, but pluck it a little deeper back in here the next time I wear it, which I probably won't show you that on video, but just so you know, yeah, you do want your hairline to look natural. I have a long forehead that again, I try to camouflage. And so I think maybe subconsciously I was trying to hide my long forehead <laughs> by pulling it down a little too far in front. Let's not do that, okay? So don't follow my example on that part. Get it back to as close to your hairline, your natural hairline as you can and pluck it appropriately so that you don't have this unnatural hairline look. The glue and everything looked good, but by the placement of it, I think that's a giveaway that this is a wig. Okay, so now we're back. We're gonna begin the removal process. Let me start by taking everything out that I have in bobby pins and rubber bands and such just a second here now as you can see i don't have a lot of makeup on so you'll want to stay tuned for my next video because i am going to do um pretty much a get ready with me and in order to be successful in life we have to take it one day at a time success for the day starts with eating right hydration mindset getting dressed getting presentable, even if it's only for you. So come with me and let's do that together in my next episode. So to take this wig off, I am going to, I have alcohol and rubbing alcohol and some of these little pads, um, cotton pads ready, just because I'm thinking we're probably going to need that. But let's see how this all looks. As you see, I'm just peeling it off. And so far so good, it's coming off pretty easy. I'm just kind of using my thumb here. Get up as close as I can to show you what I'm doing. And it is lifting off very easy. Okay. All the way down. Okay, so that is loosened up. Let's see how it lifts up and off we go. Very easy, yes. Yeah, see how my hair just all kind of fell out of the cap in the back over the last couple days. It is glued pretty good. But remember, we use that got to be glue. So this is not the wig glue. This was just like a heavy, heavy duty hairspray that I used two layers of. And it is stiff and it is sticking. But I'm gonna loosen as much as I can. There, that's lifting up pretty good. Yeah, there's some spots that I'm gonna have to use the rubbing alcohol. Let's see if that works. All right. And I realize rubbing alcohol is not really good for your skin, but ripping your hair out at the roots is probably not very good for anything either. So. I'm going to opt for the alcohol because it does loosen up the, the stiff hairspray glue stuff. But for my first time, I was very pleased with the way it turned out. And I hope you are getting a little something out of this and that it helps you. And of course, leave anything in the comments. Um, if you have any little tips that you can add that would make the process a little more seamless and smooth for me or for anyone else watching. Okay, there we go. The cap is off and my hair is kind of matted down to my head. <laughs> As you can imagine, I've had that wig on for a few days. Okay, ladies, well, there we have it. And if you enjoyed this adventure with us today, then hit that like and subscribe button. Come back for more, and we will see you in the next episode.